far as a fan experience, Chance, have you, what's your craziest fan experience? And I'm sure you've had some crazy ones. Um, there's uh, like crazy bad or like either way. I mean, either uh, way, either way, I'm sure um, there's plenty of crazy bad. Yeah. One of the, some of the crazy bad ones were like, uh, we had, we invited over another one. Okay. There's a couple of them. It's hard to pick, pick just one. None of them went really too bad. Like South, they were just really weird and kind of, it was more of just like, thank God this was, this guy wasn't an actual psychopath because like we could have all just, died for sure if he was um we would have kids uh sneak into our house um like we invited over uh, another influencer his name's tanner fox one time and a lot of times when we invite them over to film they'd bring a couple friends like you know they'd have their little gang like little entourage and so he walked in the door with like four or five dudes i think it was five guys he walked in the door with he only came with two so it was three of people we invited but five walked through the door and this is at a time where we have anywhere from like 50 to hundred people outside our house all day long. And so it, it's really chaotic coming in. Like there's just people everywhere, like yelling, you know, it's not like a, like, Oh, what's your name? Like, it's just like a get inside, get inside. What's up? Um, like there was no introduction, like formal introductions to where we would be like, wait, who are you? Uh, we just, they walked in. We thought they were with them. They thought they were with us. No one said anything. This is during the Cavs finals, the year, uh, the year we lost to the Warriors after the championship. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, they were just, dude, the, they came at the start of the game. We didn't realize till halftime. They're just chilling, small talk. I'm chatting it up with these guys. They know sports. So like, we're like, oh yes. Other people actually watch sports in this house. We're literally chatting it up with these dudes, like eating out of the chip dip, just laughing and it just kind of comes around with Tanner's like, yeah, like, yo, who, like Tanner asked Jake, he's like, who are those guys? Like, who are they? And Jake's like, what? Like, I don't know. Like, I thought they were with you. And he's like, they're not with me. And we all kind of just looked at it and the room got quiet real quick. And we're like, yo, who the fuck? Like, who are you guys? And they were like, honestly, man, we're just fans. We just thought it would be crazy to sneak in here and try this, bro. We just had to do it. And we were like, all right, respect. Like, yo, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like respect, you know, you might, ah, all right, respect, <laughs> I respect. Get yep. We'll get you out of here. It was, yeah. it was kind of like uh, that's really weird. Kind of want to not like you right now, yep. but you have balls. Like that was crazy. I would have never done that. Respect, no, bro. That's, that's so a lot of balls. We gave him a little knuckle touch, but like, if you do this again, it's not going to end the same way. Have a good day. Yep. You're um, right. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like they were really cool and it was chill, but like, I don't, we don't know you. No. And, and this is at a time where uh, shootings were through the roof in America as well. Um, before COVID stopped school systems, uh, it was a shooting every other day. And I continuously talked about that at team 10. We had, cause there were kids like in the middle of the night, you would see on the cameras, kids walking through our, the side of our house into our backyard. And it's just like, bro, like, if these kids can walk in the, in our backyard, like anyone can walk in our backyard. Yeah. And so that happened and we moved to Calabasas. We, this is, we had full-time security in Calabasas. Um, X, uh, they were current and, uh, they were current and X, um, LAPD officials. Wow. And so it was a really good, uh, security company, all professional, like 20 plus years on, the, uh, on the police force, or they were current active duty, just off duty. And so they were legit somehow this, these, this dude timed their walk bys and snuck in right as they're like through the walk arounds. And, um, we're in the, I'm in the gym with Anthony and a couple other people. Jake's in the kitchen. We're just, we're lifting in the weight room. He just walks in through the patio, the outdoor patio into the weight room. He's got like a team 10 shirt on like a backpack and there's people coming out of the house left and right. Like, I don't know half the people coming in like most of the time he just walks in and he like, gives a head nod he's like what's up guys and like he, you know he's friendly there's people here all the time we have security so i'm thinking like he's vetted he's good and i'm like what's up bro knuckle touch him he walks right by me knuckle touches tony walks right by them he's like where's jake i'm like oh in the kitchen he's like all right walks right through all of us goes down the hallway and there was just something to where we all just looked at each other and we're like yo 
kind of just all looked and said, yo, pointed towards him. No one really said anything. We're like, and then we just, we followed in. We didn't know we, it was just weird. Something like there was just a, a tick literally. Cause it was, it's very, it was very common for people. We didn't know to walk in and like, where's Jake? Like they're here for business. They're here for ideas. They're just some influencer he invited over their brand. Like there's people in and out of the house left and right. It's hard to keep track of. And yeah, he was just a fan, man. He walked into the house. He's like, what's up, Jake? Jake said, sub who, and then we're like, who are you, bro? And Jake was like, you guys don't know. And we're like, nah. And then we're like, everyone kind of like, who are you? Like, and he's just a fan. And it was a it was a really heated moment. That was actually the most heated our house ever got. We all got really upset, and it was more so just because like how the, like how did this happen? Like we have security, like we're on our like this guy walked in with a backpack, knuckle touched all of us and walked through. Like you That's know scary. not to like it's think about if think about if he wanted to do harm easily, easily. we're all you easily gone yeah instantly yeah instantly. That- and I thought about it, I'm like dude. If he wanted to, like, there was like, we literally opened up the door, like everything to him. So it was just one of those moments where we're like, wow, what do we even do at this point? And that actually happened again, too. That happened in the middle of the night. Someone came in at like 3 a.m. Jeez. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't there for this one, but um, my friend Anthony was up. He had a couple of friends. Uh, we had a couple of friends from Ohio visiting and uh, they were in his room at like 2.33 in the morning just playing video games. Um, and he just opens the door and walks in the room. What the hell? Are so you he's looking, what, he's what looking for, do? he's looking for Jake. They're like, who are you, bro? And he didn't answer. And they like, they knew instantly because he had a backpack is same vibe. And they just kind of grabbed him and they like threw him up against the wall. Or like, what are you doing? Like, why are you here? And that was, they didn't punch him or beat him up. Uh, but they just like threw him against the wall and held him there and like kind of held his hands and just like yelling at him like what are you doing like how do you think this is okay um like i should i should mess you up right now you know like someone breaks into your house at three in the morning like you know what is the appropriate response but at the same time it's like this kid is like something clearly isn't ticking up here to do that Mm -hmm. he's not armed he's not posing a threat so like it's just it's a really weird situation we just called the police he ended up getting him out of there the cops even said that they were surprised we didn't do anything to him we're like we're not trying to mess people up i mean this guy's just a psycho dude like why is he in our house uh a lot of instances like that um that were pretty bad but like could have been way worse and so not really that bad um i mean chance those are crazy that, that you think about being in your room at 2 30 2 30 in the morning place, in your own place in your own, uh, and he walks in, opens like, the door walks yeah. in your room like I'm like, at, like i want to say to him like what did you i mean what did you expect was going to happen? Like they're going to say, "Hey, come on in, man." Like we, that's, you know, we don't that's, know. Who the hell that's is. what we kept saying. Yeah, it's like well, I don't understand the logic there. I get, I get if you want. I'm sure these some of these people aren't all there too. But I mean, like, if you're a fan, like, I mean, there's got to be another way to, to meet. Yeah, them, like or, you know, than to do it that way. I mean, that's yeah, like, come on. I mean, I'm there's sure people that wait outside him. the house and like the gate or like wait to see you leave and like wave and try to flag you down. Like even that can get like people just waiting outside your house all day long can get a little annoying. But I mean, at that point, like that was never like there was no malice or like uh, anything to fear from that. And so we were always really kind and usually took the time for those fans. But yeah, I, I just always assumed something was wrong. And like to, you're breaking into someone's house, dude. Like, what Absolutely. are you doing? Like, would I ever break into Drake's house? Like, never in a million years, dude. And go in his room? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? You're going into their room at three in the morning. Like, how do you know they're even oh, like yeah i don't know I you, know maybe, you guys are armed or that you're not that's what i'm saying guys, like, like you know you do that in ohio like you know you're not you're not walking out of that house <laughs> no uh, you're walking in someone's bedroom it's like man parts of this state you're getting yeah you're not gonna walk yeah out. So you're it's not like, walking out man no that, that's so. just insane i mean that those are the kind of stories to me that no one people who aren't in your shoes and who aren't famous and who don't live in the la's you know and, and don't live in that environment they would have no idea what that's like and that's yeah so and it's like you lock all your doors you have security you are thinking about it and it's like no you have cameras and yet somehow it's still happening and like these people are like i'm talking like they're going through the woods at the deepest end of your property through a river that is like you have to walk a mile around stuff just to even find that there's a hole in the fence that you could go like it's it's crazy like the length and time that they went through to do stuff like that no, that is and crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm just really thankful that it wasn't an actual, you know, psychopath. Uh, because I talked about that all the time. I was like, dude, what, like, we, you know, 
we see all this stuff on the news, like a lot of times it seems that some of these people are doing it for a bit of that reasoning as well, right? To draw the effect, the yep. news, all of that. And if you think about it at the time, like what, this is a house filled with people that are massive on YouTube. Like if you wanted to make a statement, like you hit that house. That's, that's what I kept saying personally. Like this is what I thought. I'm like, dude, like it's a ticking time bomb. And I mean, thank, obviously nothing ever happened, but. but you're right though, yeah, Chad. That, I mean, there was a band back in the nineties called Pantera, a metal band. One, you know, one of my favorite bands growing up. And there was a lead guitarist was named Dimebag Daryl. And they were playing down in Columbus, 2004. And some psycho goes on stage with a shotgun and starts shooting all the band members. I mean, and dude. a shot killed Dimebag. So, you know, and that's he was just the greatest like, guitarist of our generation. And he, and just because he thought this guy broke up Pantera. He's like, oh, that he left. I'm thinking, think about that. He went and shot, the, shot him, killed him. It's like, that's, that's so, that's just so sad, world. man. Yeah. And, that, and that's why with you guys, you're right. I mean, it's not that crazy to think that could have happened just because there are people who are like that, who, who think, yeah. that, you know, oh, you know, Jake or Chance or whoever, you know, pissed me off somehow. They, they said something on a video that pissed me off. You never know. And people you just are, never know. I mean, no. you never know. Like, there people a lot of a lot of people uh get caught for even less like just you know a lot of people make decisions on even on nothing just because they make up their own story in their mind like and then they just see you guys they envy hate jealous like whatever it even is like maybe they loved us and we turned them down for a photo one time and that was the screw that got loose like you, you just never know and yeah i mean think about it you have a family like people are walking around your house at two in the morning like your backyard like it's, it's no just way. not cool. It's, no, it's scary. Not cool at all. Yeah, it's it not is. cool. Looking in your windows, like you can see them visually looking in your windows, like through, like it's just weird. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Weird.